So I'll make it another video. I guess I'm back here again, um, which is all right. It's fine. Um, but man, am I just, I'm just feeling, no one say that I'm feeling gypped on an end of anything really. Um, ultimately what I feel is that, ha. <sighs> Anyway, you can see the price moving. I think on this earlier this morning, I got up and kind of talked about the price. And I've been in this humdum drone. And I, I really, it's so hard for me not to be skeptical and think that Coinboy Base is just keeping me locked out of my account. Because they could ultimately see this drawdown coming, which it did come. And clearly, see, I kind of drew this out yesterday. And I, here's my here's my thing. Probably I'm going to do everything I can to keep this video short. Because I've got like two 20-minute videos in this playlist already. Um, but here's my thing with it. I 90% of everybody who purchases this now bought it in this area. You know, I bought it down in this area. So like from the most standpoint, my account is still up. Ultimately, I could have cashed out of the account. Um, taking my original investment off like I wanted to, but being locked up and, and be basically being stuck to watch this happen for the next five days is terrifying. <laughs> so ultimately what I've decided to do, like I, I know I said this before in a couple of other uh, video prior to uh, uh, the one I made this morning out, just tracking everything. I think ultimately what I plan on doing is taking everything I have out of Coinbase and putting my coins in my wallet, like I said before, or something, which sucks too, because that makes it also less fluid because then you have to transfer it over and then you have to wait for it to hit your account. But the benefit I guess I could see to it is I could swap the coins to a stable coin. So if for instance, there's a drawdown happening, I can go on there, I can pay the, the cost difference to do so and swap my coins into Bitcoin, let them sit there let this whole market thing do its craziness to kind of stem the tide of the drawdown. And then when it's done, take that balance I have and then swap it back into Shipcoin or, or, or for whatever reason. It's just kind of frustrating. It's also more frustrating because I don't think I would necessarily do that. I almost feel like when I saw this move here, this, this part, and man, it's just... Hmm. It's just story of my life. Whatever goes wrong, goes wrong. I think it's life in general. But when I saw this little area here, when I saw this little candle pop up, that makes me want to buy it more. I don't know why. Maybe that's a psychological difference. We'll see what happens with the price. But like I said earlier, these pin bars normally tend to work themselves out. And when I see the price come down here, to me, it's cheaper. Keep in mind, I bought here and I bought here. So I feel that that's a cheap price that I'm just going to buy more. But I feel bad for the retail folks who got into this late, who just saw that Shiba Inu was up some 30 whatever thousand percent. Oh my goodness, There's, there are videos and videos and videos and videos and videos and videos if you just search Shiba that just go on and on and on and on. And some people talking one soon and they're going to burn more and they're millionaires and it's just like, Everybody jumping on and looking at these accounts, it's sad. I don't know. I feel like if you buy, I feel like if you bought in late to the game, if you bought in on the 14th because you watched a video that was like, she was going to the moon, and you're looking at the price like, oh my gosh, and this happened to you? Oh my gosh, do I feel sad for you. <laughs> I just feel horrible because I've been there. I have been that person. I have done that. Somebody put a hot tip out there. And I remember the first penny stock I bought, which is why I don't, I, you know, I don't really, I went into stocks, but I realized in the stock game, you have to have tons of capital. I don't have tons of capital to make it worth my time. And in crypto, I do. I'm learning I have that capital. I have, I have it's worth my time. But, oh my goodness. And this buying here with a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars to somebody is a lot of money. So when they go and they see their account, 
is now down 10 or 20 bucks or, you know, degraded that fast, do you think that person is going to want to trade again? Do you think they're going to want to stick it out for 10 or 15 years like I have in, in stomach a 50%, 100% downturn on their account's value? Are they going to be able to stomach that? No. And that's the, that's the answer. So I'm just trying to kind of put, put this in perspective. So just to show you. So if I was someone and I bought at that level. Do that quick math on it here. And I said I wasn't going to make this video long, but it's probably going to be long. So I bought at that level. Okay. Now the price has gone down tremendously to 2476 okay that's this is the number of shares you you have to have right to be to be somewhat comfortable let's co copy all this stuff just to be as close as possible so now uh, excuse me these shares are here we're going to divide that by 0 0.2474 oh that's wrong that's wrong I'm doing this this math all wrong. Multiply by 0.0002474. That account that they have now is down $85. If I put in $100 and I went on less the next day and I've never lost money before and I just did it on a hunch, uh, how would I feel about this? You know, that's that's $85.99. That's $100. Uh, minus 85.99 it's a 14 dollar loss not so big but to someone who's never lost money before if you expect everything to go up that's that's tremendous that makes you want to get the heck out i don't know that's how i feel about it it's it's what i think this game the market how people are played with their mind i have lost hundreds if not thousands of dollars over the past 10 15 years between binary options and just trading in general forex binary you name it i've lost it and i kind of just i don't know this i get these prompts to make these quick hopefully what i think are going to be quick videos they don't end up being quick videos they end up being long because i'm just processing this and i guess i feel i feel horrible for people so i guess here's what i would say in this video i'm not trying to hype I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not even claiming that Chiba is going to go to 67 or dollar. I think that's, I think things are going to happen, but we have to have realistic expectations. So you yourself, if you are watching the Shiba Inu coin, you're going to take a risk buying this coin. You're going to take a massive risk buying this coin. Hands down. Okay. Do not expect it to run up. Do not expect it to go to a dollar overnight. Do not put your entire life savings into this as the all out get out. Why would I say that? Because you missed out. They're saying it's going to make millionaires understand it has already made millionaires. It, it did. It made millionaires. Everyone else now is being manipulated. If you ask me if it was a good buy, yes, I'd say I'd say it's a good buy, but I'd say expect to hold on to your account for uh, a while. I mean, expect to be in for the long term. Don't you know? Don't see this as a short term type thing. It's not. It's a long term thing. You know, a long term investment, a long term expectation, um, which is which is what you should expect. So yes, am I upset that my account's locked up? Heck yes, I'm upset. I'm upset, but understand, as I said in my video one, I bought this with the expectation I would hold this for 10, 10 years, five to 10 years. That's about how long it took um, uh, Bitcoin to reroute, revamp, and push itself up around $300, and all of a sudden it's worth of 56000 something dollars. If I would have, goodness gracious, don't even want to think about that anymore. But if you're just coming in now, most people that are telling you to buy and the hype and all that, and you're so excited, I got to get in, I got to get in right now. Do yourself a favor, okay? Look at my chart. <laughs> See my chart. And if I guess if I, someone was asking me, say, hey, Carlos, should I buy it right now? And I'm looking at this. I would say yes. Now is a good time to buy. But 
it comes with risk. Anything can happen. Okay. Just because it's, it's come down here doesn't mean that it's going to turn around and go back up. Just understand you're, bu you're buying now into a, an area where Shib uh, Shib Shiba Inu is now being reviewed. It's being watched and it's going to be manipulated. So understand you're putting yourself and you're exposing yourself to that. So what I would say is proportion your risk tolerance. If you hate losing money, it's not for you. It is not for you because you're going to see the ups and downs in your account. But if you do believe in the idea, believe in what they're doing, by all means, invest in it right now. What you can afford to lose is what I would tell you. And then turn off your screen and stop watching it. <laughs> Easier said than done. For me, I'm watching this from here with a 200%, uh, almost about a 100 or 190% uh, increase on my investment because I had it down here. So I'm watching this happen and it doesn't, it's not necessarily affecting me. Even when it came down to here, it wasn't like I wasn't freaking out. I just, you know, it could have continued down. And the mindset I had, I wanted it to come back down here so I could buy more initially back on the fourth. So that's my mindset coming from a, a term holder here. So anything's possible in this area. And like I said, I know everybody was looking for the 3000 level to break. You can clearly see everybody's getting manipulated. Everybody's like, oh man, it's going to go to the moon. Oh, it's going to sell. It's going to buy. It's going to one. It's going to, it's going to this. It's going to that. So all of the retail people that are buying right now, if you can, and you're able to, and you can stomach it, I challenge you to hold on to what you have. I challenge you to hold it and forget about it. If you put in a hundred bucks, shut it down, forget about it. Because I almost guarantee you, once they're done doing this shakeout up and down, when you pull out and you come back in about maybe 10 or 15 days, it's highly likely, possibly. Now, it's also highly likely poss possible that price will be all the way down here. And you'll, like, your investor will be gone. You'll be like, well, it's all gone now. But it's also highly possible and likely that by the time you log back in, in about 10 days, the price will be up here. And then you'll be kicking yourself in the butt. And then what you'll do when everybody's talking about it again is you'll buy it at the top. It'll sell out. You'll get mad. And, and the, 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 the cycle is just going to repeat. We're going to repeat. going to repeat. I've had enough losses and enough stomach gut checks that I can I can sit here and be fine with my account going up and down because I've had 10 or 15 years to get used to it. You haven't. 90% of you are just finding out about crypto. 90% of you are just now investing in crypto. You haven't had the time. So, so keep your risk investment low. And the best thing I would advise you is put the money in, shut it down. Don't follow anybody else. Just believe in your investment. Ultimately, believe in the company. And then stop watching it from there. Why I felt needed to do the need to do that, I don't know. This is a 13-minute video again, but I do appreciate you stopping by to listen. And I'll probably post more updates and uh, reminiscences of my mind as time goes on. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. And uh, probably, hopefully, I might be back later tonight, or I might be back. Uh, I don't know, Sunday, Monday, just depends. Got a lot of stuff going on this weekend with the family. Going to the pumpkin patch. It's Halloween. Yeah. Peace out.